get your first call up because I heard stories of man I say yo them there dance and somebody I pull them pants foot her. Somebody yeah. say yo give me a bus and give me a talk for the mic. What was your first instance you're going to dance and and and, and somebody say yo me I call the artist here. I mean she come DJ a song or something like that. Oh, I have so much experience, but it's like like to remember one specific. It's kind of hard, but um. I want to buy. I want my country. But me, me tour the world fourteen parishes before me start the foreign. <laughs> but so and, specific. Funny enough, when you yeah. say tour the world fourteen parishes, you know, people might take it as a joke, you know. But there's so much place in this yeah, place, as small as Jamaica may be. You have some place in you know, this place. Yeah. When, you, yeah. when you go, you feel like you're in one different country. You know? But Mandeville and Montego Bay was two of my favorite places. I mean, it's a lot to go as country dance. But deal yeah. with it. Yeah, the, I think the, those two parishes where, is where I have most of my fans. People who watch Lady G grow from, you know, from 15 year old so till now. Yeah. So, so, yeah, man, Mandeville is one of my places. How did you balance school? Because you started when you are in high school, like really started in high school. How did you yeah. balance high school, balance school, and still balance doing sound system? Because that's another night. Sound system it did thing hard, you know. It did hard, you know. But it's when you love something, nothing can stop you. And it was the love that I have for the music. Because I remember going to Dunoon Technical. Yeah. Um... I used to go to dance Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, come in Monday morning, bathroom, shower, uniform, school. I remember me live at Spanish Town. So no, it's a long ride. Long ride from the bus from Spanish Town to go all the way to Windward Road. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, that's a um don't want technical there. Eh? Yeah. So um, sometimes, so. all the first session, yeah, me a buck. I <laughs> hear not with it. <laughs> Which we kind of have a little regret still, because you don't yeah. know. You can't have too much education, you understand? True, true. So, it's like, but it was my destiny, you know? It was my journey, so, I mean, I saw it go. Yeah, man. So did you, did you get to finish high school? Did you finish? You graduate high school and stuff? No, I left at third farm. Oh. Yeah. The cut, yeah. The cut left them now. I said, all right. I know so yeah, like, they're they're like, already. No, then time me, me the pan black scarf is so no a DJ permanent. So we say, yeah, this is it. This is what we want to do. Yeah, so it's like, yeah, so I never return. Yeah, after that, after that summer holiday. Yeah. I never return <laughs> to go to Fort Farm. That Whoa. was it. Yeah. So all right, first recording. What is it? Which is your first set of recordings that you don't you have done? Well, my first first set of recording was with um. I did I work I did a song for the techniques. A song I'm in the mood for love with myself and Hope and James. Oh yeah yeah Winston yeah. Winston yeah. Riley that song yeah. yeah, but my first first recording was a two name. Get yeah, a Google a song. <laughs> get <laughs> yeah get, get a rock. Rock. Yeah, for Black Scarpia, the first time, first, yeah. first time I went to Jazz Studio, and that was Channel One Studio, to be exact. Yeah. And Soji, I don't know if you know, Soji was the engineer at the time. You know, Soji used to work for, for Fatis Burrell. Big up yourself, Fatis yeah. Burrell, RIP. Yeah. yeah, man. So, I mean, yeah, that was my first time, and nervous as hell, but it's a true, may I come from the dance hall, Dance all ground where you know your freestyle and you know what I mean I, I, I like no, your DJ also till all the rhythm done and all them something there. Yeah. So when me go inside of the studio you now it was a one tech, boom, one tech with the song, yeah man. I the song was well structured already, everything already. Yep. Get her up. Because remember so the have... dance hall is where you get for practice your craft. So when by the time when you're going to a studio, you're already you're already you're ready. You're ready yeah. for, for you know what I mean? For record. Cause it's not like nowhere a person just no say boy them have the talent and them can write some lyrics and them just say, All right, never be an artist, you know. And them going to the studio and them just make a song. 
No. Yeah. First, we have to practice the craft before. You can ask any artist who come from my era, them have to practice first for sound system. And then when you practice for sound system and them lyrics, they every way you touch them lyrics, they are done the place. And so yeah. Then the sound man, the artist, the producer, say, all right, you're ready for voice now. And you can't go voice the, 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 the lyrics where so you have a mashup the whole place. Yeah, because yeah, tape, a tape was a serious thing them time. A studio time was a serious tape. situation. Exactly, 24 track. Yeah. Yeah. It's a serious thing. Yeah, so man. I'm gonna have a big old tape and, and, and spend studio time money for God vice you if I think you're ready. It was it was it was more serious more was more quality than quantity at that point yeah. in time. When you go to studio, it's not a testing testing. You know already yeah. you're, you're ready. Ready, set, go. Yeah. Red light, boom. Hit that. <laughs> Green light, go. <laughs> All right, so your yeah, first step. Give us um, your experience. The first time you heard yourself on the radio. Can you recall that? Yeah, man. And it was um, Barry G was playing Ooh. a song one night. Yeah. Because, you know, Barry G was one of the top radio in the man. man. Yeah. 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 Barry G, I play a song. You're gonna lead. So yeah. I can't remember. It was a night to and where I live in Spanish town. Then... I moved to another place in 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 um same place in Thompson Pen, another place called Jones Pen. Can you know when I get out be a pen pen pen? pen, you pen, know pen why. Yeah. yeah, so and I was living like up on a hill. The the call out there is a Jones Pen. I was living on a hill and there was a club across, you know, upon the flat. So yeah. when they might play music. I think they call that place named Herbie, some whole heap of big dance used to keep up there. I remember the first time I saw a yellow man, yellow man came there. Yeah, some whole heap of big dance, Borough, Banton and all them man there, yeah. Big dance keep on them places, so. The, they, they, they were playing the music, like the radio from the from the club, and I yeah. sat there and I could hear the music playing, and I hear my song playing. I was sleeping anyway. I think I was sleeping. I'm wake up and hear my song. I mean, one of the, one of the, trust me, one of the best feelings I could ever feel in my whole life. I say, yes. yes. Which song was that? Which song was that? The same little song, Get a Rock. Yeah. Yeah, man, it was on this rhythm um, that, that Frankie Paul sing. The closer I get to you. Yeah. Bam, 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 bam. I think it's the answer rhythm, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah man. Yeah. The closer I get to you, the more you make me feel. Giving you all that, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. So That's I the first time. That. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, first time that, man. I tell hmm. you. <laughs> that, that's a huge deal. That's, that's a huge Big up, Graham Smother. That's a huge deal to hear yourself. To hear yourself, man, man, really, them time. Because radio played such an important role in that, in, in that, in era that time. Of music. Yeah, man, of course. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. You yeah, hear your song, I play upon the radio. You know, say, you think, turn up. <laughs> so, when did you know? When did you know? When you heard that <laughs> song, or you realized, when did you know, or you felt that energy, like, yo, my boss? You know that energy when right. you say your boss? When really say, and truly. Boss. When me feel some bus was at Sting, I think that was Sting, Sting eight to seven. Yes, yeah, Sting eight to seven. All right, the first show I did was for um, I really I wasn't built for the show anyway. It was DJ Roll Call. I don't know if you remember them. Do you know about them? Show them. Yeah, 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 DJ yeah. Roll Call. Yeah, yeah. but in the in the cinema too. All right, so this DJ now that I met from the sound system in Montego Bay, name, um, from Montego Bay, his name was DJ Daddy, was a very old man. I don't know if you know him, DJ Daddy. Yeah, man. Yeah, I know DJ yeah. Daddy. So DJ Daddy was built for the show, but because me know him from the sound in Montego Bay, I said, DJ Daddy, why you call me up, you know? And I'm so, all right, ladies, you know, worry yourself. And DJ Daddy called me up that night and my boss the place. At the time, even though I was DJing in the dance hall, a lot of people, 
never really know me that much. It's just like, you know, only country people because I didn't place them yeah. used to go DJ. So, um, so after that, like the morning, you know, the gleaner, it was like, you know, DJ, daddy, call up his, um, what do you call it? Sidekick. I was like, they called me DJ, daddy, sidekick. They never even know my name. <laughs> and I was book for Sting, that very um, same here. Yeah, said so here I was book for, book, book for Sting. And that year it was, it was Lady Junie, Junie Ranks, um, Sister Charmaine, and myself, that 40 odd way. Oh, yeah, yes. 40 odd way, yeah. You sound like a shootout. Yeah, 40 odd way. And a desolated G make her stamp. The that world, was, it, right? that so was the infamous clash. That was the famous clash. The infamous clash. Well, after that, the other clash was what, 1988 or something like that with Sister Charmian, um, Lady P, mm -hmm. um, Patra at the time, Ooh. and Junior Ranks. Yes, man. Yeah, yeah. Only person, I don't, yeah, only person I don't know is Lady P. I don't remember Lady P. Oh, so yeah. Yeah, yeah man. And trust me, she did. If you Google it, Google a crash there. You will see that crash there. That was, that was one of the baddest clash. Because Lady P come hard the night there. Yes. She, she, trust me. She come hard the night there. Um, but you don't know. <laughs> people please with the time Spanish stone Spanish stone as a space so. <laughs> people take the time to go and go YouTube one in the night here and search for that clash yeah man and, and, the yeah, that, that's my thing but now I'm gonna search for all all clips of artists in the night and late night and just watch some old clips I love and you some too, old <laughs> red rap big up yourself what you mean? Red Rat said, kill them Lady G, but kill them the light. <laughs> Everything right off. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so I was, and all these artists are legendary because when I was growing up in the 80s, um, Shaman, Sister Shaman was a huge deal. Yeah, man, she's, definitely, yeah. She's one of the first that yes. uh, we used to hear about as a kid growing up, as one yeah. of the staples them in dance hall. Yeah, true, and true. Lady Pacha was, everybody, as we know, was one of the dance hall greats as well. And I heard that. That was the said night um, Patra was signed to Spectrum, Spectrum um, Records. Yeah, with yeah. Specialist them. Yeah, because she came off the stage crying that night. And that was the night when, you know. Boy, we we'll miss them sure them. I'm not telling a lie. We we'll miss them sure them. Yeah, yeah we we'll used to look sure. forward to December was a time where you could have, you could have find at least 10, yeah. 15 shows to go to. Yeah. Foreigner come in, everybody get a little rental. We have yeah. some stage show for go. We have stage show at town. We have my mobile. We have my Clarendon. We have them. F they are always somewhere for go. Especially, especially Sting man. Sting was the show that make or break you as an artist, especially as a, as a DJ. Sting, yeah, make or break you. Yep. And I see Sting. And I say Leng was trying to do back of um a virtual. Yeah. A virtual Sting this year, but um yeah. like last minute I just saw it in the newspaper earlier this week that. They decided no, not to do it. I guess the yeah. numbers, them, the numbers didn't make enough sense to do it. Okay. But now I tell you like me can't honestly me I tell you two cool face. I can't get accustomed to this vir sorry, virtual thing, you know. I can't get accustomed. Me used to the up close and with the people them and feel my fans them energy and can talk with my fans them. Me not tell you like, trust me. Right? The virtual thing feel like me now I'm about you, my thing. <laughs> virtual thing we like to be honestly but hopefully hopefully it won't last much longer hopefully yes, this, yes. All, all these vaccines that they've been creating yeah will do the, do the trick to get rid of covid yeah. and get every everybody back in the you know the, the yeah we can we can we can feel like you know human being again because right now everybody are scarred people you can't even hug nobody no more you can't even See it, nobody and no more. It's like it's, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, man, it's crazy. Man, I like you. Yep. Yep. I want to talk about now. I talk about experience. Papa San is one of the staples in your career, especially in the earlier stages. Yeah, man, definitely, man. Papa San all the way, all the way from start. Yeah, man, because 
Well, well, when I tell her I moved to De La Vega City, Papa yeah. San family, Papa San family was living in Thompson Pen also, you know. Okay. And when De La Vega City housing scheme developed, it like a lot of people from in that area moved yeah. to De La Vega City. So Papa San family moved to De La Vega City, and his his um house was like. Mm, like probably like two steps from 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 where I was living, so at night we used to like have a horn liquor, you know. We have a little penny concert. We have a friend of mine who feel like so them can't sing, them sing out who feel like so them can't DJ, nice. them DJ, imitate who them want to imitate. So that's how it was, and you know, Papa San was a part of it. Dirks man also was a part of it, even though he was in a band where he used to blow the the um. The saxophone at that time in a band, okay. a band called Troopers. That's how we're Troopers get the Ricky Troopers from. in the, yeah, the, the marching getting band, name yeah. From. yeah, the marching band. So, yeah, we used to do a thing. And and then Papa Son started DJ on a song of Outer East called Stereophonic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I used to watch enough time when the truck come cross from the highway to San Dela Vega City. I used to run, go over there and jump on the truck and go. And so I used to sit. I used to sit and watch Papa San write his lyrics. I used to sit and uh, watch him rear same thing and yeah, and you know what I mean I I was really drawn to his versatility versatility all oh, used to write him lyrics and man always have some long lyrics and them little things. So I used to admire that a lot, you know, from Papa San and that's the that's the the trend that that's the part I tried to follow at that time when I started to DJ. I used to try to write my lyrics them long too, you know what I mean? So yeah man and I have a storyline also, you know what I mean? Cause you know Papa son lyrical oh, story. Yeah, but I couldn't I couldn't speed rap it like him still. We never <laughs> get the part there. <laughs> we never get the part there. Yeah man, for real. I want to tell you today I was listening to um uh uh on YouTube, a dance 1987 Spanish town when we have the a celebration for the death. When, when, when Major Warriors, I don't know if you know about that artist, Major yeah. Warriors. Yeah, yeah, I know when Major, Major Warriors passed off, the Jamie's sound system was in Spanish town. And you know, Major Warriors, me and Major Warriors, we both used to go to um, all eight school. Whoa, yeah, we were kids, yeah, Major Warriors, huh. we used to go. um all at school in Trinidad Please, school in Trinidad please, Park. Tell, us more. Yeah, man. please tell us more about that. And I was listening, I want to tell you, it's Twitch called me, look at Twitch called me, I said, gee, you know, me I surfed through the internet, I'm a, I'm a book up on this um, dance with uh, King, King Jammies, with, um, we, we were having the, you know, celebration for major worries and thing, and, and I was on it. Yeah, man, I'm going to go bum bum same time, man, and go feed me. I said, I don't know, sir, I'm going to come from far, you know. <laughs> that was 1987. Yeah, man, them time, the Papa San, all the Spanish town DJ them. DJs were on it. Yeah, man, a whole of vibe, man, nice. Major worries. Um, yeah. I remember as a kid going on St. Jude's Primary School on the Walton Park Road, and when I heard about Major worries, yeah. just when I heard his name, he like he passed, yeah. So we didn't yeah. get to hear any much records or hear too much of him. So every right, time I right. get an old cassette and get anything to listen with major words. Yeah. Funny enough, last week, sometime earlier this over the weekend, um, Bobsy Twitch yeah. sent me a link to mm -hmm. one of the last dances that Major Words did in Canada. Yeah, he went in Canada to do a dance, him, um, Pad Anthony and stuff like that, and uh, yeah. and, a, and a new. To listen to some of his lyrics, I keep on talking about him in several yeah, different man. interviews. Yeah, so yeah, he went to see him. He went to see him all age school with you. Can you recall yeah, man. some of the stuff them like when you guys were well, in school? Well, major words were you to I always give him some little trouble, you know, little trouble, trouble make a youth. I in that love yeah. these people and them things like that. That that's what I can remember most of all. That's why he gave himself that name, Major Words, because he used to always. You know, yeah. you know, nothing really bad, but you know, as a kid growing up, you, you tease one another and make joke off of each other and stuff. He was, he was that kind of person. Yeah, man. Greatly miss, miss him, never really forget for, you know, 
climax in him career that much because he, he, he had a peak in career right when he just started peak. Yeah. The stories I've heard that it was like major words was a before him time. Everybody was like, yo, he was miles ahead as yeah, a man. DJ. Because I'm saying even his style and, and flows and style like that. And if you listen and other DJs came off that style that he came up with in the early beginnings. Yeah, and if you listen to him or Dirtsman, Dirtsman have a sound like major words also. Yeah man. See so that? So good mm. we're passing on some knowledge because as I said I try to Make sure everybody keep in the loop because two of the yeah, man. unsung heroes of dance hall to me, because I always heard major words and then we yeah. grew up on an ex, an ex a fellow named, named Baby Wayne. So two of yeah, yeah. Yeah. very talented people that talented, left us yeah. early. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Left us early. Yeah. So, yes, so Papa San, no, you used to DJ Papa San lyrics. You guys yeah, live, man. Close, <laughs> live close by each other. Yeah, and, yeah, and the chemistry. Like before, I came and I was watching the video, watching yeah. the videos of Round Table Talk, and watching the video of, of um, Equal Rights. Yeah, and see the chemistry you guys had, and the storytelling yeah. and everything was pretty unique. Tell us about yeah. the, the the creative aspect of that, like putting a song like that together. Well, Papa said, you know, Papa said is a man well talented, so he was the one who came up with the idea and. um we said, I can remember definitely with legal rights. We um, the song was written at a brethren house named Ken Youth in Kingston, and you know a portion of people was there, a couple of friends, a couple of son friends, a couple of my friends was there, and yeah, and we writing the lyrics. It was like it was like a stage show thing because when Papa son come with theme line, you don't know him get theme approval from theme male friend them. <laughs> you know what I mean? I want to come with my line, me, you know, me get my approval from my female friend, them, and sometimes I must say, yeah, man, say this, man, say that, and so it was like a a, a, a great vibe, unity, a nice vibe, honestly, working together, and we, and I want to tell you, we did the video at the same house also, the same house <laughs> we went back and did the video, yeah, man, yeah, man, nice vibe, man, trust me. And, you know, Papa San, I mean, my brother, my brother, 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 brother. Likewise, Dirt's man. Yeah, man, because me and him, you, they sit down and write lyrics, Dirt's man. You know what I mean? Papa San, likewise. Yeah, man. Dirt's yeah, man, man, trust me, honestly, my mister, you, the bad, 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 bad. Boy, for because real, of Dirt's man, R.I.P. Yeah, man. That, 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 that last song, at this year. Yeah, man. It's it's, it's it's such an anthem around the world. Yep. People, people real, don't even understand real. how big that song is. Song is. Yeah, man. For real. For real. Because it, it went to the Spanish market. The rhythm itself as well yeah. is big in the Spanish market. And then the Afro market took the yeah. rhythm. And took the I want to tell you, any, any hip-hop club you're going to you hear that song now. Any one of those kind of clubs you hear them. You hear them. Oh, if if them go reggae, them have, yeah. to go them, them have to play them song there. So for yeah, anybody man. who don't know who Dirtsman is, that song plays in any market you go. You got the African market, you got the Spanish yeah, man. market, for you got the hip hop real. market. Plays everywhere. Yeah, man. So I'm living on, I'm living on, um, choose music right now. Yeah, yeah, for real. So all right, so Papa San, oh, where was the, all right. So tell us about no, no respect. You say, you say, I was talking about no respect, and I still, you said that Mikey, Mikey, help you with that song. That is, which, Mikey no Bennett. respect is the biggest song. Is the biggest song out of all the songs that we have done? I think that's one of the songs that really I like Lady G. Put Lady G at the forefront where everybody, you know, start listening to Lady G on record. But I think the biggest songs were more like the combination with me and Papa Sam. Yeah. For real. Okay. So, as well, talking about biggest song, um... Ease off, breeze off is yeah. a monster record, as we all yeah. know. I even it's been it's been out there for a long while, and it's and it's still rolling firm. And um, I think it was like been a year and a half now. I think Spice had a song that she used a part of the melody. It's part in, of it, yeah, yeah. In in yeah. the song one of her song, she paid yeah, homage man. and um used some of the melodies and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and, and it was it was good to see. It was good to see that one female, one queen of the dance hall paying homage to a queen of the dance hall by yeah, using man. some of the Yeah, man, I respect that. And I, yeah, I, I really love it, but I don't know, you know, I don't hear her promoting it anymore. But yeah, it was a, it was, it was a nice feeling. Yeah, it was a nice feeling. And you and Spice have a good relationship? Right? Yeah, but may, may every female artist have a good relationship. I don't know if they have a good relationship with me, but <laughs> me know me have a good relationship with them. Yeah. <clears throat> well, yeah, man. over the years traveling, I used to travel with Maka some of the time, and, and you yeah. and I used to travel sometimes. I know you guys have a good relationship. Yeah, but... man, me and Maka come from far. We're bonafide. Bonafide friend. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we never, we never, we never, nothing never come between us at all, no matter even. Even if we not talk to Maka for even a year, the respect is still there as but friends. Yeah, man. I'm looking at it like this because, as I say, <laughs> all the females, the female artists have a good relationship because yeah. you, like, being in your shoes is probably kind of weird because, as I said, you're good with Spice, yeah. you're good with Maka Diamond, and I know that yeah. you're good with Lady Sa as well. Yeah, man, for real. So, yeah, man. being that person in that middle of everybody when when the few <laughs> them start, because the allegiance them change from time to time. This cool, yeah, cool, yeah. Then that too cool, and then none of them don't cool. Then everybody back for it, yeah. and you're always in the midst of that. Still. Yeah, but don't know. You have a thing him jealousy. You see, jealousy is like is that is is like a a thing where some people don't know how to separate from respect. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes people make jealousy take them over. Yeah. I try my best at all times. Cause I mean, not not saying that I don't feel bad vibes from other female and everything, you know. But yeah. you see, me just use love and just conquer everything. You understand what I say? Because if they're gonna show me a bad vibe, I'm gonna show them like a bad vibes. It now go work. Me have to be the more, you know, adult one. Not this business. The more the the. The, I, I can't find the word really to express, but really, I never yet try to show no one, no, even if I know they're giving me a bad energy. You yeah. know, me just brush that aside, side that man, me just trample, trample upon that with love, man, because I love me believing, you know what I mean? So, and I realize, you know, it, it, it is, it feels good to show love because when me sure no identify with me, when 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 you get upset, it's not a nice feeling. It's a horrible feeling. Yeah. And when you when when you feel yeah. love inside, it's a good feeling. So why would I want to, you know, to to have a bad vibe with with another female artist? Me not me not follow up them thing. Them me just me just show love. Me just use love and just go around the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, man. Well, dancehall. We know dancehall has the clash culture because we build that. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always have that. But um, everybody, like, because of what is going on with dance or the clash culture now, people kind of just, because the bad vibe gets a tick. And you yeah, can't, yeah. It, it, it's a tick, you know, you can't cut to the knife. So a lot of people not trying to, 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 to get back in the clash. And what is like trying to stay away. But yeah. um, like, wherever, when everybody was growing up, as I said, you were on a, a stage with four the hardware, which was pretty yeah. much a clash. Yeah, some people of course. Use, some people, and tomorrow morning, I'm on People are cry too. Boy, you, know, you beat me last night, but I'm going to catch you next week. Yeah, man. People are cry too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I will, see, I, I will see each other after that and everybody good and, you know what I mean? Yeah. Everybody laugh and we get joke and, yeah, we just move on. But I don't know. It's like, you know, people just crave too much for material things and they think that if, if for them, if them can't elbow you, then we get more. But what yeah. is for you is for you, and what is for me is for me. So, to me, know that we don't need to fight. We don't need to fight, and we don't need to elbow our next one. We just, we just go through and we just focus. That's the time I ever take to focus by you for elbow you. Yeah. We just give myself a tunnel vision. <laughs> and and yeah, man, we just have a tunnel vision. And focus. And next question I ask a lot of other artists come on the platform, but it's mostly men. And I keep yeah. on asking them like this. Question. This question for me is kind of a, a generic 
question for us, all the yeah. artists come on. And as a female, definitely want to ask you, what you think about this new crop of artists, male or female? Well, there's not much unity 